So macromolecules, by and large, lipids to some degree are exceptional, um, are polymers. And polymers um, work like is shown up here. You have individual units of polymers called subunits, and we can also describe these as monomers. You've got some kind of polymerization step, which involves the addition of the subunit to some larger structure. The addition process is a chemical reaction. And the polymer is a string of these subunits. And in this case, it's a, a linear polymer. And th this is the case um, mostly for the uh, biological molecules. We'll be talking about the macromolecules. And then the individual subunits, once they've been put into the polymer, are often described as moieties. With, with luck, I am pronouncing that correctly. My, my wife, no doubt, would tell me I'm not, since she often does. But I think it's moiety. So we would talk about if a polymer of, called amylose, which is a polysaccharide. It consists of glucose subunits. But once the glucose is in the polymer, it, technically those subunits are no longer strictly glucose. They're, they're, they're a slightly modified glucose. And we would describe them as glucose moieties making up the starch amylose. So I use that word a lot.